everyone, we are Claudia, Graciela, Arzana. We are from Canary Island, Spain, and we study at ESNA High School. We are part of Erasmus Plus project. Our last day in high school was the 14th of March. And we didn't expect that that day will, will be our last day in high school in this year. It is sad for us because we, we can't celebrate our prom. But the most important thing is that we can prepare the EVAO exam as good as we want. And now we are taking classes online and we think that it's not the same. The coronavirus has been devastating for the world health and economy. It has caused around 4 million diagnosed people in the world and near 300,000 deaths. In Spain, there are around 200,000 diagnosed and 27,000 deaths. Luckily, in Canary Island, the coronavirus hasn't been that bad. There are 2,000 diagnosed and 150 deaths. Coronavirus is affecting our economy since it is based on tourism and cruises no longer arrive. Even some of them have had to be evacuated like this one. Besides, we can't move between islands by ship. As my partner Carlota said, tourism not only doesn't arrive by the sea, it also doesn't arrive by the air. It's affected a lot in the economy of Spain. These ones are two photos of the airport Tenerife Norte. Due to this situation, all the stores who are not essential services have closed, and this supposed a big problem. Some shops have made an alert to their employees, which is a step for people who cannot work from home, so they don't lose their jobs. But small business like coffee shops, local boutiques, restaurants, etc., are experiencing this crisis from a difficult situation because they don't receive enough income to, get, to keep their staff and in some cases they can't pay the bills so probably a lot of them will close. Right now we are in phase one which means that bars and restaurants are able to open only at 50% of capacity. However, the rest of the shops can only open with an appointment with one client at a time. Since my whole family is in lockdown, every other in Spain, uh, and I live with my old grandmother, she is 97 right now, and she used to go for walks when we were in quarantine. Uh, she's been a bit nervous lately, but we've tried to solve it, like proposing her to go for walks or going up and down stairs, you know, everything, but everything she did, but inside home. And that's how uh, we've tried to solve it in some way. During the quarantine, and surely what we lack of it, we have been working in a platform called Google Classroom. Here it is. When you open it, you can see all the classroom that you accessed before with a code that the teacher of each class create. These are all my classes. Here you can see the homework with the limit day to do it and if you click on it you can see some comments of the teacher and the people in the class and the work that you have done or you have to do and yes we can say that the google classroom is our new classroom Hello, my name is Marta and personally I think that Google Classroom is very effective but it's nothing to compare with Classroom classes because it's good to work, to do homework, but not to learn. We need a teacher, we need to go to school, to high school, learn about other people and that's all, that's my opinion. Bye. 
Life with teacher province is really difficult because they expect a lot about you but the problem is their expectations are too high and when you you have a problem um, they will probably punish you. Yeah, that strictness is sometimes good but too much strictness is not that good. During these rough days of quarantine, most of us spent some time in our rooftops trying to breathe some fresh air. So this is my rooftop and I will show you my views. I live in the capital, so I can see from here almost all the city center. From here, we can see the auditorium and one of the tallest towers in Tenerife. We can also see the port, a monument from Plaza España and the tower clock of one of the oldest parish in Santa Cruz. Bye, good luck everybody! Hi guys, I'm Ellie and as you can see, from my balcony I have an amazing view of the Atlantic Ocean. It makes me relax and it also makes me think positive about all this new situation. I hope you all are thinking positive too. In the Canary Islands, we are so lucky to be surrounded by the sea because it brings out peace and a beautiful and different point of view of being in quarantine. I hope you are safe. Bye bye! I'm Daniel and I live in Tacoronte, a more natural part of the island in the north where I have spent this quarantine. I know I very lucky to live here. However, natural life is everywhere. We could think that we are walking into the woods, but it's Garcia San Alves Park, which is located in the heart of the city. Hello guys, we are already in the final stretch and now is when we must be more responsible and unite. Uh, many countries are fighting the virus and starting the new normality. Uh, stay strong mentally and physically, play sports and try to find new distractions at home. We can resist this, we must do it. What we are going Throw is not easy, but everyone's collaboration and respecting the rules, we will be able to stop the virus. Hi everybody, we are Saras from Spain and we want to say that there is a future for us. We are in the street, we have to wait, but we are in the street finally. It's important to, to take care of yourself and from other ones. We are all together in this and it's so important stay fit and have a mental health and yes, we can. Bye!